What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ron back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. If you are a fan of Tommy Sotomayor, then I think you are in for a treat. This was sent by a subscriber. And when I tell you this man was speaking facts and was cooking, this brother was cooking, man. All right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the clip. Movie 300 was perfect example of this. The hunchback said, I want to fight with you. And he said, like Leonidas said, lift up your sword. I mean, I mean your shield. And he couldn't. And he said, a phalanx works like this. Every man has to be there to protect the other. If there's a weak link in the phalanx, the whole thing goes down. So he was a man just like them, but they said he didn't meet the standard. And they do it all the time to us as men. We get cut from the basketball team because we're not good enough. We don't go around complaining. Yep. But women will say, well, it's not fair. That's why I was saying earlier, y'all speak from emotions. Men speak from either you're good enough to do it or you're not. Women talk to us like they understand that when they're talking to me. They will tell a man, look, I'm not interested in you. I'm interested in him. He has what I want. You don't. You lose. We have to accept it. Yep. But when men decide they want the same standard, women say, that's not fair. That's sexist. You're colorist. You're racist. You hate yourself. They use emotional arguments with no logic involved. I'm sorry, man. I had to stop this right here, bro, because... That 300 movie is a very, very good example. And till this day, I'm still pissed off that that little son of a bitch turned on them and told Xerxes where, how to get to them and get rid of they. Okay. Try to give y'all a short version, man, if you haven't seen 300, man. So the guy that he's referring to, he ends up turning on, on, on the 300 men by telling Xerxes where to, how to get to the hot gates. Now, the hot gates was this area where no matter how many people they sent at these men, it wouldn't, it wouldn't matter because the way they shielded each other, you couldn't break their defense. So it was a tactic that Leonidas used to his advantage. And my God, did it work? 300 men pretty much unalive and a whole thousands of other men. All because you funneled, you funneled all these guys into a, into an area where it was so small that how many guys they said didn't mean nothing. And then what did this little guy do? He had an emotional reaction just like Tommy Sotomayor mentioned, he had an emotional reaction and ended up turning on him. And all for what? For what? A damn uniform. Because he just wanted to feel important and feel like he was a part of something. Instead of doing what needs to be done, so that way he can get to where he wanted to be. <laughs> Emotional response. And, and, and look what, I, what ended up happening. You, you mean to tell me that that doesn't happen in real life when, when it comes to dealing with women? Just think about it. Let's keep it moving. You just said if a woman wants to do it, she should be able to do it. Fuck your wants. Can you do it? Your want should not have. I want to be in the NBA. Should I just let me just go out there and play because I want it? Well, logically, it wouldn't only be based on the want. It would be the want and the ability. But the and ability is not be there. And and you know, an overarching huh. theme that because she's a woman, she cannot. Because if, no if 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 the rape, like right now again, y'all are watching a man who's dressed as a woman taking suppression hormone blockers and he's destroying the women in just swimming <laughs> if y'all believe what you're saying then why not let me in play in the WNBA there would be no WNBA it would just be the NBA and everybody who's good enough would play 
Yet there's not one woman good enough to play in the NBA. Not one. Out of all the women, and there are more women in the United States than men. So you mean to tell me there's not one woman, but you still want to tell me about it's wrong to generalize. Well, how about this? Get one woman that can play in the league. So we can't train hard enough. Who's stopping women to... from training right now? <laughs> no, but I'm saying, like, you're counting... Not what you're saying. Let's talk about what actually has happened through the history of Earth. Okay. Is there one woman played in the NBA? No. One woman played in the NFL? No. One woman played in Major League Baseball? No. So why not? Is there one not? guy working at Hooters? You're keeping him from doing it. He can do it. <laughs> right, that, that makes was, no sense. Y'all, hold on a second. Yeah, For a woman to work at Hooters, you could be perfect. dumb as a box of rocks. All you got to do is be willing to wear skimpy outfits. That's true. My that's God. Right. That's true. That was a, ter that was a terrible argument. <laughs> yeah. Again, that's why I said yeah. it's hard to have a, a woman with an emotional argument. I kinda, no, and the I, man is like, the manager. Because, <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's the man. He's back there. Ladies, I mean, it's, it's simple it's, as this. And the cook. And the, all we're saying. I feel like. Merch. There you go with our feel. Merch. Merch. I feel like. We will talk about oh, stats. And I brought up stats. Yep. <laughs> the person responded to my stats with, I feel. I feel. Right. Because I don't have a factual anything to fall That's why. Men Please stop like having the conversation. The That's why men facts. don't jump in a conversation in which a man stated facts unless they could argue those facts. I they wouldn't say, I feel, because your feelings have nothing to do with facts. As a matter of fact, the reason why most of us are having fucked up relationships, single, or doing the most fucked up shit online, all crazy shit, and been in 1999,000 different relationships, because we felt that nigga we fucked that night was the best <laughs> nigga, and he ended up wasn't. We felt like I was going to be with this nigga for the rest of his life, and he wasn't. We yeah. felt like this nigga was going to take care of his kids and he didn't. So let's not talk about how we feel because we got a long laundry list of our feelings being fucking wrong. Bang, bang, bang. Shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like that. Yo, I had to let the track breathe for a minute there. Jeez. All right, let's get back into it. Yeah. Shit. There are few teachers, male whatever, teachers maybe. sleeping with students today yeah. than female teachers sleeping with students. That's true. Yet the problem is we won't bring out that number, number one. Of course. But number two, we think that it's a cool thing that the boy got slept, he got to sleep with. Uh, I told a story about being molested as a 10-year-old on my show. People said, you got lucky and he must be gay if he didn't like it. I was 10 years old. They told you that? Yes. Holy shit. They were coming on the internet. Look, you tell he gay. He didn't like it. I was 10. Why would you think that was okay? But nobody would ever say if a girl said, yeah. when I was 10, I was by my male babysitter. Nobody was going to say, was he fine? Yeah. He wanted yeah, and that reminds me of the video that I just did recently of the teenage boys that had a threesome with the two teachers. Because what he mentioned is... I was actually kind of surprised how often I saw this this um this in the comments. It was quite a few men that were like, uh, where were these teachers at when I went to school? What else did I see? Um somebody even had the nerve to say that I was reaching because these men, because the boy was almost because the boy is almost grown. Okay, so let me ask you this. If that was a 16, 17 year old girl getting ran through by two dudes, are you gonna have, are you gonna still have that same perception of it? Are you still gonna look at it as, oh, she's almost grown? Because I'm looking at it the way, the same way Tommy looked at it. And that was the whole purpose of me making that video in the first place. Because whether he's 16, 10, or 6, it's not going to be seen that way once the genders are, 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 are switched in roles. We, but we all know damn well if that was a 16-year-old girl there wouldn't have been one there wouldn't have been one man in the comments that sat up here and said she's almost grown. And if you and if you, and if there was a man that was gonna do that, I would be looking at you very suspect. 
Well, I mean, I mean, let's not do the hypocrisy. I'm like, I don't do that here. I'm like, hell, hypocrisy is one of the reasons why my channel is what it is. Because I'm like, because I, I love calling it out. So with that saying, with that being said, let's go ahead and move on. Continue on with the clip. Let's go. We wanted a society to work at its optimal, uh, uh, to, to this optimal capacity. We would want to put everybody in the best position possible, not worry about how someone feels. Bam. Because anybody that's been in the military or in any fighting situation will tell you how you feel can get us both killed. killed. Mm -hmm. Women think being submissive and following is a bad thing. Not they, at all. Well, no. some of them today think that, that these words are bad words. They think that these words are bad. But guess who submits more than anybody? Men. Men. Men submit to their wife because they could whoop their ass if they wanted to to get them to do whatever they want to. But they lower themselves and they say, I'm not going to handle this thing with what I'm better at, which is physicality. Because women will get into an argument with a man and they will go to their best feature, which is they can manipulate a man. So they're going to use their, their strength and you're going to hold yours back. Number one. Number two, you have a military general. That military general will lead 20,000 men. Guess what those 20,000 men are? Followers. That one man is telling them to run into battle. They have all these people who are telling them what to do and men will, a basketball player. Kevin Durant is listening to a coach who he, Kevin makes 30, 30, 30 million dollars a year. His coach makes 10. He's listening to that man who makes less than him and was not as great a basketball player as him. And him and the rest of those 13 to 15 guys go out and listen to his orders. We follow it because we believe that he's been put in that position for a reason. And we do it every day. So whenever women try to argue against this and talk about misogyny and stuff like that, understand that nobody follows orders more than men. Yeah. See, and that's why when I hear women complain about the word submissive, it's really, really dumb. And you know what I mean? What Tommy just mentioned is something that I've thought about from time to time, but never really broke it down like how he did. Because when you really think about it, men, men are submissive as well. You know what I mean? There's a time and place for it. I think there's a time and place for it when it comes to both genders. And at the end of the day man submission is just cooperation man and in order to things in order for things to get done efficiently at some point you have to you know what i mean you do it at your job every day you know what i mean you do it with your parents you know what i mean your elders I mean, it's just a part of life. Oh, I'm like, I, that's why I never really understood why women get so offended by it. Especially considering there are so many women out here saying men aren't leaders anymore. Men aren't providers anymore. But the moment a man tries to provide leadership and tells you something or tells you, hey, you should do this instead of that. The first thing y'all do is y'all act in rebellion like a teenage girl. And it's gotten to the point where I think men have given up and said, you know what? Do whatever the hell you want. Just don't be mad at the results and blame everything on men once you get older. And let's be honest, a lot of women are, are on social media doing that. Yeah, I mean, I'm like, as a matter of fact, <laughs> I'm like, I'm about to do a video about that next. So, or uh, to some degree. But yeah, man, shout out to um, Tommy Sotomayor. I know this guy has had some up and downs. I know he's kind of been off the radar in recent years because apparently he used to be like popping, you know, like years ago. I never heard of him till you know the last few years, but I am a fan because he speaks nothing but facts and does a good job breaking down the dynamics between men and women. All right, so 
y'all let me know what y'all thought about this if you're new to the platform please subscribe ogs i appreciate the love and support make sure y'all hitting that bell notification that we all know what i'm uploading hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm it helps me reach a broader audience also look out for the travel vlog channel unplugged traveler link is in the description as well as in the comments and my latest mixtape the genesis that link is in the comments and i'm sorry that link is in the description and if you want to purchase any of the merch check out the spreadshot.com link in the description as well so until the next video y'all deuces